Hey everyone, I'm Rob, and welcome back to another collaboration between the Knights of Horror and On the Fence Movie Reviews to bring to you another episode of Slashback Friday. Now, before I get into my movie review, I just want to say I've had a blast doing these collaborations uh, between the two channels and, you know, just kind of going over my favorite and, you know, kind of my top picks uh, of Halloween movies. Now, in saying all that, uh, the movie I want to review today came out in 1978. And uh, being as that we are close to Halloween, um, it is directed by John Carpenter and it is Halloween. Um, now, let me just kind of, I guess, give you the spiel, very beginning, kind of what happens, and then we can get into my likes and dislikes. So it starts off, a, I believe a six-year-old Michael Myers is being babysat by his older sister. His older, her, his older sister has her boyfriend over. They're upstairs doing their thing. He leaves. Michael Myers grabs a knife, goes upstairs, murders his older sister, comes back downstairs. His parents come home see him with a bloody knife uh you know they take off he's wearing like a, I think like a clown mask or something they take it off and they're like you know michael you know kind of just hands in the air camera pulls out they're all just kind of standing there it's it i know it's supposed to be a dramatic moment but i found it very funny i think at the time it was probably supposed to be dramatic and you know what's what happened but uh for me now it comes off as a little comical but anyway, so fast forward 15 years later, um, you know, we're following a, uh, uh, I believe it's a nurse and Dr. Loomis in a car. They're on the way to, I believe it's a mental institution or, you know, facility. Um, and so, you know, they're driving there, it's, you know, pouring rain and they're having a conversation talking about, you know, that, you know, Dr. Loomis is saying how Michael, you know, shouldn't get out and he needs to be belong in a certain place. And so they get to this institution um the patients are walking around again it's pouring rain they're you know walking around you know the nurse brings up you know are, you know do they normally let them just walk around like this and and you know dr loomis tells her you know pull up to the gate and you know um they're trying to figure out what's going on michael myers attacks the driver and jumps in the car and takes off driving back to his hometown to begin his uh his reign of terror if you will and so now let me just kind of, again, go over some stuff I like, some stuff I don't like. Um, I don't, for me personally, I don't know if this movie aged well, but it's still very enjoyable for me. Um, I will typically watch it around Halloween time. Uh, for the longest time I can remember, I always felt Michael Myers was my favorite kind of uh, slasher villain, if you will. Um Got overtaken not too long ago in in my in my youth uh, by Ghostface, but for the longest time, it, I always thought Michael Myers was uh, the worst out of all of them. I don't know why. I think it was uh, had more so to do with I think he, you know, in the first movie, it was kind of just portrayed as uh, this kid that went crazy and just killed his older sister, and then you know, he was like an average average day kid person, and and that could kind of happen to anyone if anyone snaps. But so that's kind of I feel like why. I had more of a, I guess, a fear of Michael Myers. Um, and now in saying all that, uh, the things I really did enjoy about this movie, uh, the soundtrack, it, and I feel like the sound, the soundtrack is almost pretty much throughout this movie. And it, it you know, it gives you the ups and downs and, and, you know, it, it speeds up and it slows down. It gives you that kind of feel of, you know, the, you know, the biting your nails, that kind of, you know, anticipation of something happening. But then also too, it may sound a little weird, but just like the, the breath, like when Michael's breathing and you're close to him, um, you hear like the, not like Darth Vader where it's like, I'm your father. Or that's more like Bane, but just like the, the when, if you've ever worn a mask and you hear like the, the breath against the mask, like plastic, where it's like, just kind of like that breath. That's a part of the soundtrack, and it may sound weird, but it, with the music, it is very eerie. And even you know, I just recently watched it the other day, and I was just like, that's kind of creepy just to hear someone breathing like that, because it's not like a breath or two, like the, it's just like for like thirty seconds, just kind of like that. And so that again, 
very creepy. I don't want to get into breathing technique or anything like that. But um, so those are a couple of things that, you know, I was like, okay, this is in the bonus. You know, I, I do like these are, you know, plus pluses for the movie because it makes it feel a little eerie um, and creepy at the same time. And now, Michael Myers does uh, kill, I think, a couple people before he actually kind of uh, runs into into Laurie and kind of stalks her. But but once he uh, sets his eyes on Laurie, nothing really happens for the whole movie. Um, now I'm not saying that's a bad thing or a good thing or anything like that, but nothing really happens until the end. He, you know, it's just more him kind of stalking her and watching her and her and her friends and just you know you see him off in the background and even you know Laurie sees him and and you know just kind of like you know like what, what what's going on and and stuff like that and um so for most of the movie there's not a lot of i, I mean we say action going on or anything crazy going on it's just more michael stalking them whether he's in the car driving following them or whether he's walking following them um so i mean you can take for me I feel like maybe along the lines, I know, again, like I said, it, you know, he does murder, I think one or two people before he gets to the town, but, but in between that really nothing happens until he, until the end when, you know, he starts to murder the babysitters. But so, so again, I don't know if you want to take that as a negative or take that as maybe like, you know, kind of building suspense or when, you know, the, the, you know, the climax happens, um, you know, building it up for that. So that's just, you know, something that I did notice, you know, as I've watched the movie, you know, for all the time I've watched it. Now, things that I just kind of, I don't like, and I understand back then that was kind of maybe like a theme. It's just, I guess, dumb victims. Um, I feel like a lot of horror movies now, and again, it's, you know, you don't always, I don't want to compare stuff to back then, but just, Stuff you see now, and then I know that's how it was back then. It is maybe that's what they want for me is me to be like, would you not turn your back to the killer just because, you know, you stabbed him once, or you know, keep the knife in your hand, don't let it go just because you know he fell over, kind of thing. Um, but but you know, it, it it's. I also get why they do it because it's smart too. It's you you're building frustration in 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 me the audience member but that there's also payoff for it so i mean you know it, it's one of those things where like you know i don't know if it's aged well but it's definitely entertaining for me to watch um you know there's i don't find it as scary as i once did you know when i was younger there's certain movies where i'm just like okay that there's scary stuff in this movie there's you know jump scares or whatever but i really don't think anything in this movie is like jump scare or it's like oh this pops out at you it's definitely a very uh, it's a simple it's a simple slasher film i actually w when it comes to the name halloween because it does play take place on halloween but i think it you know if this didn't take place on halloween they could have just called the movie michael myers or something like that but specifically it does take place on halloween and you know it has that lore and you know when you think of the movie's halloween obviously you think of michael myers um now, in saying all that, would I recommend you guys watching it? Um, this is what I'm going to say. If you enjoy that old school kind of horror movie vibe, I'm going to say definitely get off the fence and check out Halloween. Uh, because, yes, it is a dated movie. Um, yes, there is some over-the-topness to it. Uh, but at the same time, at, the, at its very core... It is a simple slasher film that that at its time I feel like was done really good. And now when I say simple, you know, late, the later on movies, the later on Michael Myers, you know, stuff, you know, he becomes, you know, he just kind of becomes this legend. In this movie, he it's the beginning of it. And and it's just it like i said it's very simple it's very basic but it's very entertaining um you just gotta this is more something you pick and you're like 
okay, yeah, I like that. Maybe this doesn't work, or maybe you know they could have did without this. But overall, these positives outweigh the negatives, at least for me. So I'm gonna definitely say get off the fence and check out Halloween 1978 version. Um, and in saying all that. Again, we truly, truly do appreciate you watching these videos. Um, thank you so much, uh, you know, for all your support. Uh, just do do us a favor, uh, you know, hit that like button. Please subscribe to either on the fence. Well, both subscribe to both. You don't have to subscribe to either or. Subscribe to on the fence and movie reviews if you haven't, and subscribe to the Knights of Horror if you haven't. We also our Instagrams the same thing on the fence movie reviews and the Knights of Horror. Um, and uh, you know, check out some uh, so you know some of our other other stuff we have on on the fence movie reviews. And we got some real talk, and uh, you know, uh, uh, for the Knights of Horror, you know, they got that podcast and you know uh, gameplay, and just check out all the, all the stuff they got over there. Um, and in saying all that, if someone breaks into your house is trying to kill you, don't run into the closet. <laughs>